typically able-bodied men and women would go out and pan for gold so that they could sustain themselves and their families. You don't want to have to go out and pan for gold when you can buy it really easily. A rising gold price is an indication of a failing currency. And governments do not, and central banks as well, do not want you to realize that this really has no value. 10 trillion times zero is still zero. No purchasing power. Silver and gold are both generally good investments for safe haven investors looking for a relatively liquid store of value. The beauty of gold has captivated humans for thousands of years, and while it has always been cherished and sought after for its shine and elegance, it also used to serve a much larger purpose. During the era of the gold standard, gold was a critical component of the global economy, affecting everything from international trade to the value of currency. In today's video, we'll tell you why Lynette Zhang says that Zimbabwe's hyperinflation is the biggest signal to buy gold and silver. But before we get into the video, make sure you subscribe to our channel and press that bell icon to never miss an update. When all faith in money is lost, people fly to the safety of gold. Once you buy it, you're out of their system. Get into a good position so you don't just ride out the storm and enjoy it. If you believe that inflation anywhere in the world is going to go away, if you believe that the central banks that got us into this mess know how to get us out of it, they're preparing to get us out of this mess, stay in control, retain their power and their choices. That's what they do. They accumulate gold because this inflation will only get worse. Zimbabwe has released gold coins for sale to the public in a bid to rein in runaway inflation that has further eroded the country's unstable currency. The central bank dispersed 2,000 coins to commercial banks on Monday. The first batch of coins were minted outside the country, but they will eventually be produced locally, according to Reserve Bank of Zimbabwe Governor John Mangudia. Zimbabwe has the highest inflation rate in the world. The situation deteriorated rapidly this year when the Russian invasion of Ukraine, compounded by black market currencies, it all caused the value of the Zimbabwean dollar to plummet. Zimbabwe's economy has been in recession for nearly two decades, marked by cash and food shortages. Inflation soared to 191.6% in June from 60% at the beginning of the year, pushing up property prices. Growing gaps between income and the cost of living, forcing people to make difficult decisions about how and where to live, affect mental health. The inflation rate more than doubled last month to 191%. They use the United States dollars and everything else because all confidence in the Zimbabwean dollar has been lost. And many people would go out looking for gold to support themselves and their families. And right now, they're having official hyperinflation of almost 192% and they're seeing the cash market go down. A rise in the price of gold is an indication of a failing currency and governments don't want you to realize that it really has no face value. Fiat money is only as valuable as the trust in the people who place its value on it. Unlike asset-backed money, fiat money allows central banks to indiscriminately print or hold money under the guise of helping control the money supply. Inflation, interest rates, and liquidity. All currencies are now fiat currencies. The dollar is, of course, the world's first reserve currency. They're related to each other. In this environment of relative depression or less relative prosperity, no country wants to see its currency appreciate too much. So fiat currencies tend to be a way of printing money and then discounting it. We're in a temporary period that will probably last 6 to 12 months of monetary policy tightening. When the US economy grows and unemployment declines, the US dollar typically rises. Meanwhile, when the US economy slows down, the value of the US dollar typically falls. The US economic recovery is expected to continue 2022 supporting the USD. When the cost of living or inflation increases in the US, the USD often rises. Inflation rose sharply towards the end of 2022, contributing to the rise of the US dollar, and is expected to rise in early 2022 before falling. Don't believe the lie. Get yourself into a proper position to not just weather the storm, but dare I say it, take advantage of it. Because if you think that inflation anywhere in the world right now is going away, if you think these central banks that got us into this mess to begin with know how to get us out, think again. When all confidence in the currency is lost, people fly to the safety of gold. 
That's all for today. Let us know your views in the comments section below. And don't forget to like this video before leaving. Thanks for watching.